volts. What is voltage? I'm sure you've heard the terms volts and voltage thrown around your entire life, but what does it actually mean? So volts are uh, the bank of power that you have uh, at your disposal. Uh, a house voltage generally is 112 volts minimum, and your car, your automotive, your off-grid, any kind of battery um, stored system is going to be 12 volts or 24 volts. Now, that is kind of like your pool of energy, uh, ready to be released onto whatever electronic device you're trying to use. So what is amperage? Amps are measured in hours. So you'll see the sign AH representing amp hours, meaning that's how many amps are pulled from the voltage bank during one hour period. Amps are the flow of electricity. Think about a garden hose. Uh, your big supply of water is going to be your voltage. The water coming out of the hose represents the amperage. Um, think about if you have a ton of amps and low voltage, so that's going to be a low water supply. There's a lot of water coming through. It's going to run out of water really quickly. What you want to do is try to balance out the two so that you're not using a ton of amps to balance out the amount of voltage that you have so that you don't burn anything out. The last key in the puzzle, ohms or resistance. Uh, this number represents the amount of electrical resistance that's being received uh, in just the wires themselves. The physical transportation device from one power supply to one power storage device. The thickness of the wire, the gauge is what it's referred to as, um, is what will determine the ohms or the resistance. If your wires are too small, if your gauge is too high, then you will run into bottlenecking and you won't get all the power that you're looking for. So really figuring out what gauge wire you're going to need uh, is a big part of your system and really utilizing every available volt and amp that you can. So wattage, putting it all together. Wattage is kind of thrown around the same way horsepower is when you refer to an engine. The watts are going to be the multiplication of the voltage and the amperage. That number is going to be your wattage, which is your overall power output. So, now that we have a good understanding of what voltage is, what amps are, what impedance or ohms are, and what wattage is, uh, I think it's time to show you or explain the system that we have set up in the Living Zeal bus. When doing this project, uh, I wanted to make sure that the Living Zeal bus would have plenty of power for um, multiple days of not receiving any sunlight in case we got stuck in a snowstorm or something. Uh, so I built a large battery bank uh, to hold a lot of solar energy. Didn't focus too much on the solar panels, although I'm going to do more solar energy uh, very soon. I focused more on storing a lot of energy to have at our disposal. So the system that I've built is as follows. Four. 100 watt monocrystalline solar panels out into the roof. One 30 amp MPPT solar charge controller. One fuse block capable of 1100 watts. One 1100 watt power inverter to distribute DC to AC current. And then to store all the energy, I have a 375 amp hour deep cycle battery bank. Total wattage output when this is fully charged is 4,500 watts, more than enough to last us through a few days of no sun.